Well, I decided to paint my tractor again. It don't look too bad, but all the work I have done to it, beat it up and banged it up, I decided to just tear it apart and paint it again. This is what the tractor looked like before I painted it. It set up 10 years. I drove it, I, mean, I had it operating about 15 years, and that's it set up, and I just let it sit there for 10 years. It just, it like it went to the waste. I'm I know the tractor right now don't look too bad, but if you get to looking real close to it, you can see it beat and banged up where I put on a three-point hitch on the back, put the cylinder on it, then I put the power steering on it, and uh, putting in that generac, in, that 30 horse generac engine, that was a challenge by itself. I had to cut inside the frame and notch it out. Well, the way I had to fix this part, I cut out of the tractor for the engine. You see, well, I, cut, I cut this down. And I took a piece of a uh, coal roll and uh, welded it in there. It filled it all up with well, and I ground the well out all around the bottom. I ground the well all around the bottom, and uh, that's how I was able to fix that. Well, this is how much here I cut out of the thing. Looks like it's probably about two and a half inches. These risers right here. This one here. Then this one up here. The reason why I put that on there because this engine is a little taller and I'll show you the only reason why I had to put it on there if you look at that oil cap when I shut the hood you see you just barely miss it. and it can go up a little bit more of the hood so I gotta put I'm gonna make a little plate here that that come across here that was seamless and together one just a little thin plate it go back these screws in here to cover these holes if I watered out. And that's what we got done there.